looking here at the world's first lithium-powered cutoff machine. Um, Dan, why should people who use these machines every day or who use cutoff machines every day care about this battery-powered model? Well, one thing that we learned the last couple years is uh, we have machines where you can actually tell how many hours they've been run and how many times they've been started. And we've seen some industries, like for example masonry contractors, who literally start these machines thousands of times in just a relatively short period of time. So what we realize is what they're doing out on the job site is they start the machine up, they're making one or two cuts while they're laying brick and block, and then they turn the machine off and get back to work laying the block. So this machine here, all you do is squeeze the trigger and it cuts. Okay. How does the performance compare to a gas-powered model? Well, a gasoline-powered cutoff machine certainly is still going to have its place on the construction site. They're going to have a lot more power. Uh, an operator on this is going to have to pay a little bit more attention to their feed force. But the convenience here is, especially for smaller, lighter pieces that you can hold in your hand, like a brick or a cinder block or a piece of rebar, you just pick the machine up, make sure you have all your safety apparel on, and you make the cut. Okay. How much does it weigh? This machine weighs 8.6 pounds, and with the battery in, it weighs 12.4 pounds. So, believe it or not, that's about half the weight of a gasoline power cutoff machine. Wow. So, it definitely reduces operator fatigue and something that will keep operators safe and comfortable out on the job site. Okay. From an ownership perspective, how does it? how is the maintenance? It sounds like it would be easier than a gas-powered model. Sure. I mean, gas-powered machines, you have fuel, you have oil to mix into the fuel, you have filters to maintain. This machine takes no fuel, has no air filters. All, the only real maintenance is just wiping it off at the end of the workday. Okay. And what about the battery? How much life do, can you get out of that? Well, this battery here is called, called our AP180, and it's our highest performance battery that we have. And, uh, for example, cinder blocks, you can cut about 30 cinder blocks in half. On bricks, you can cut somewhere around 60 bricks if they're the concrete bricks that have holes in them. If it's clay brick, it's a little bit slower, so probably 25 to 30 bricks. Okay. And so, you know, any contractor that has two batteries, they can keep cutting those types of materials all day long. For rental owners, um, what would the benefits for this machine be for their inventory? Well, I think the thing is going to be a great addition to any rental shop's fleet. I mean, a lot of guys walk into a rental shop to rent a cutoff machine, and they may not need a full gas power machine. They may just be using it for cutting small pieces or rebar or something like that. So what this does is it gives these rental owners a very low-maintenance tool to put into their fleet. And one of the great challenges that the rental industry has always had with two-stroke engines is operators pouring straight gas into them, gas that doesn't contain the proper mix ratio of oil. And uh, this machine doesn't take any of that. It's just put the battery in, charge it, and you run it. So I, I really think this will have a great place on rental uh, dealer shop for us. Can you talk about the price point? Sure. Um, the way that it works is steel with battery power tools is everything is sold separately. So the batteries, the charger, the unit, they're all sold separately. And that's because the batteries and the chargers work with our chainsaws, our trimmers, our pole pruners, our hedge trimmers, everything. So for this machine right here, the whole package, the machine, the two batteries and a charger, you're looking at just over a thousand bucks.